HII viewers. Today we will be discussing the do's and don'ts before the dobutamine stress echo test. The dobutamine stress echo test is also known as a DSE test. This guide will cover everything you need to know about how to prepare for the test. To avoid inconvenience, take a prior appointment for the DSE test. Ask your doctor if you have any doubts about the test. Know about the risks associated with the DSE test. Ask about other alternate tests available like the treadmill ECG test. Your doctor generally advises the DSE test when he thinks you are not the right candidate for a treadmill ECG test. You will be asked to sign a consent form indicating that you agree to the DSE test. The consent form contains the pros and cons of the DSE test. If anything is unclear in the form, ask your doctor. Tell your doctor if you are allergic or sensitive to any drugs. The DSE test involves the administration of drugs like dobutamine and atropine. Tobacco may be prohibited for many hours before testing. This is because tobacco interferes with the test results. Caffeinated beverages, such as coffee, tea, and soda, should not be consumed several hours before testing. They also interfere with test results. Before the exam, you may need to fast. Your doctor will tell you how long you should go without eating or drinking. Disclose all drugs you are regularly taking. If you are taking a beta blocker for your heart disease or high blood pressure, then you may need to stop it 2 to 3 days before the test. Your cardiologist can advise you if stopping these drugs is appropriate. Some examples of beta blockers are atenolol, metoprolol, propranolol, bisoprolol, and carvedilol. Calcium channel blockers like verapamil or dultiazem should also be stopped 2 to 3 days prior. Take your medications other than mentioned as scheduled. If you have a pacemaker, tell your doctor. The presence of a pacemaker makes interpretation of the test difficult. If you are pregnant, inform them. In such cases, dobutamine is favored over adenosine for echocardiographic stress testing. In the next video, we will discuss the DSE procedure. Thank you. Please like and subscribe our channel.